Access points to the Connecticut River have been closed for weeks following debris buildup in high water levels, but now many have been reopened by the state. 22 News reporter Heath Kalb is live in Springfield with an update on which boat ramps are now open, Heath. Ciara, following that debris buildup, high water levels and really fast current. A few weeks ago, the state closed down all seven of those access points up and down the Connecticut River. But as of today, six of the seven are now open. The access points that the state opened today are Barton Cove and Gill, School Street in Sunderland, Oxbow in East Hampton, Cyrick Street in Chicopee, Medina Street in Chicopee, and Main Street in Hatfield. And while some people have continued recreation on the river over the past few weeks, I spoke to the commissioner of the Massachusetts Department of Fish and Game about why he's happy the state is giving the go-ahead for everyone to get back on the water. Salvage the summer, which is really the you know time of year when people want to be out on the river enjoying it. So. Um, really appreciate the effort of our team to, to get things opened up and the, and the public's patience um, along the way because these were really unprecedented water levels and storm events that we haven't seen um, in a long, long time. The one access point that is still closed to the public is on Route 63 in Northfield, and it's because sediment and debris cleanup. I also spoke with the colonel of the Massachusetts Environmental State Police, Sean Santos, and he told me now more than ever, it's imperative that everyone wears a, life uh, a safety life vest while on the water. Working for you live in downtown Springfield, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.